guess what time it is? It's time for another PBR friend battle. Um, this is a narrated one, obviously. Um, I was requested by my opponent, Snuggy95, to narrate it, and she also um, asked me to mention that this is her cute Pokemon team, so uh, let's see how the battle goes and everything. I start off with Sneasel, and then I switch into Lantern after she starts with Ampharos, because I thought I would get an electric attack, but in fact I get a fire punch, which was very unexpected, but still it does like nothing to Lantern, um, I think it's not very effective. I go with the Surf just to see what she does, because I knew Ampharos wouldn't be able to do much to Lantern, and Ampharos she just discharge. I'm guessing she wasn't aware of Lantern's ability, Vault Absorb, which obviously uh, heals electric damage for 25% with Lantern, which was great. But I figured she might switch this turn, so I went with Confuse Ray, but she doesn't, she stays in. And Ampharos is confused and hurts herself into confusion, thankfully. But I'm not quite sure what it would have done without confusion. Actually, I'll probably remember next turn because she didn't switch out again. Oh, no, no, I don't know, because I get electric critical. Yeah, actually, this battle I was pretty lucky, generally, uh, which is, I, I guess from time to time I do have those lucky battles, but sometimes I just have cripplingly bad luck, but this was not one of those occasions. You know, she throws in Toga Kiss. I wasn't quite sure what she was going to do with this, so I just go with uh, Thunder Wave, just cripple it in case she was going to try to cripple my team with Thunder Wave and that, that lot, but um, you will see uh, that she goes with Nora Sphere, does like nothing to Lantern, I go with Thunder Wave, and Togekiss gets paralysed, which is great. I would go with Thunderbolt because obviously it's going to be super effective and everything. And it does a over half damage, and uh, it gets here with the Citrus Berry. She flies, okay, I make a very odd choice here, which made no sense, no sense whatsoever. I want to switch in for Alligator, because for Alligator's new, and I really wanted to use it. So I thought, you know, it'll probably take a fly pretty well. Uh, it doesn't take it that well. Uh, well, it's got over half HP left, so I go with Dragon Dance. So I, I, I should have kept Lantern in, like, I... Getting, uh, getting for Alligator, like, in this situation now, it's very bad, and it's going to bite me later in the match, because I needed for Alligator. So she, she uses Aerial Ace, and thinking, alright, okay. I, I wasn't even sure Ice Fang would KO at this point, so I thought, damn it, really bad choice. She uses Extreme Speed Finishes off for Alligator, so I was just like, oh, God. I had a battle with like Zero Yarko and like Fralligator wasn't able to do anything in that either. So it's. Uh, you can make Pokemon like. You know, you kind of hope that your strategy with them will work out. But I'm sure a lot of you know they sometimes Pokemon just don't work. They just don't work. I mean, that's kind of my own fault then for bringing out Fralligator way too early in the battle just because I wanted to use it. I seem to uh, suffer from, hey, I want to use this Pokemon syndrome. So I end up using it. But. She sends out Flareon, and that Flareon was very, very irritating, because I wasn't quite sure how to deal with it, because it was uh, its moveset was quite unexpected. Uh, it has Dig, so I thought, okay, Lantern can't stay in, so I thought I'll send him what can, take a Dig, fine, uh, Miss Magius, and Dig obviously misses due to Levitate, but I go with Substitute. Uh, just hoping she'd switch or something, and it, and she goes with Lava Plume. So I thought, you know, everything's fine this turn, you know, but... Well, I didn't really think everything was fine, I was like, oh crap, now I'm gonna take down this Flareon, because, you know, Flareon have, like, really high special defense, and high attack generally. But I use Calm Minds just to get some... thinking she wouldn't be able to do much to it. But her fire has bite, and that almost cares for Miss Magius. I mean, Miss Magius has like horrifically low uh, HP and defense, so I was kind of surprised I didn't actually KO it. So at this point, I was kind of panicking what to do. I switched out Miss Magius just to save it, send in Lantern again. Uh, 
Team Marvel claims doesn't do much. I was hoping Lantern would be faster than Flareon so I could get Surf off, but it turns out that that was not the case. So I, I ended up having to switch again. I, I, I was switching way too much. I'm like, I just thought, oh man, I'm, I'm starting to throw this away just because of my stupidi stupidity with Fur Alligator earlier. Because Fur Alligator would have been able to take out that Flareon, no problem. But I, I, I can just be incredibly stupid in Pokemon battles sometimes, and this was uh, just such an occasion. So I just got a Shadow Ball with. So I, I get a critical here as well, which was very lucky. Uh, Citrus Berry heals and Spikes takes down Miss Magnus with ease, but now because of that critical I can switch in something that can actually deal with it. So it occurs to me like most of my team wouldn't be stack up particularly well against it because Weezing's like special attack's not that high and like Thunderbolt wouldn't do much to it, Will O Wisp wouldn't do anything to it. Dig was a problem uh, with it on like Lantern and stuff. Um, what else was on my team? Uh, oh yeah, like Lava Plume would have dealt with uh, Sneasel and also Lava Plume would have had an issue with Pinsir, but then again actually Pinsir probably would have outsped it, so uh, stream my Pinsir is quite fast, but I'm not certain about base speeds and stuff. So I Swords Dance this turn, I get lucky again and just leave out and actually misses. I, I really did ride my luck in this match, I'm just being reminded of how much how lucky I actually did get. Uh, I used Stone Edge. I, I was actually really surprised that my pencil was, you know, faster than the Jump Bluff because the, those are notoriously fast. Anyway, it gets Sleep Powder off this turn. I decided to stay in because I figured Jump Bluff's not going to be able to do much to me. Maybe an Aerial Ace, but Jump Bluff has like really low attack and Pinsel's defense is surprisingly high. But she goes with the Gig Drain instead, and it barely does anything. So I, I figured, you know, I can just stay in easily enough, you know, without taking much damage. And she used Giga Drain again. Uh, I don't think I wake up this... T no, no, I didn't wake up that turn. Um, but I do believe I wake up this turn. And I wipe out that Jump Bluff. Because Jump Bluff can be very, very annoying. And I can't remember what... She sends out next. I shall see in a second. Um, Gardevoir. So, Gardevoir is easy pickings for Pinsir. Pinsir, I do find to be surprisingly useful a lot of the time. I mean, it's a bit. Uh, it's got 85 base speed, which is kind of slow. But it's not like horrendously slow. So, it's quite useful. I mean, like for Pokemon that's supposedly, you know, never used. I, 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 I'm not necessarily sure if it should be in that. Here, but I guess Stealth Rock Weakness and everything like that means it is. And also the fact you know Heracross is like does the same sort of thing but it's like a million times better generally. But uh, yeah, I finish off my Lotic and that would be the battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you next time.